interviews, you really GQ. Oh man, I appreciate it. Like that, really, man. like really, like you about that life. Like that silk pajamas well, and shit. You about that. Pajamas. You know, <laughs> the, the, the silk pajamas, I leave the Hugh Hefner, man. Yeah. But uh, the way I grew up in Miami, mm -hmm. being one of the neighborhoods, being Little Havana, actually, yeah. my father brought over three boats during the Mario boat lift, 548 people wow. from Cuba to the United States. Wow. And he would put me in Little Havana at the bars. He would put me up there, he'd make me do Jose Mati poems. Mm -hmm. Jose Mati is somebody we look up to, all the Cubans do, mm. and it was all about uh, freedom and fighting and mm. dying for the honor of freedom, mm -hmm. and they would lose their fucking mind in there. That's when I figured out that words were that powerful. I'm like five right. years old at the time, by the right. way. But the guys that would show up, though. They would be dressed nice. The suits on, they treated everybody nice with respect, mm -hmm. great sense of humor, had mm -hmm. all the women. Mm -hmm. Silent but dangerous. Mm -hmm. And that's where that style comes down the pipeline. Wow, I would say, when you, when you see me like that, just know I'm looking like Miami in the 80s. Goddamn, <laughs> <laughs>